Today in this video we're looking at this new high bay LED light that is generally used for lighting in warehouses or large buildings. Since this is said to be a direct replacement for a 400 watt HID light, I just so happen to have one to compare it to and test with. So in this video I'm going to talk about efficiency, which has many subtopics, and pricing. Now before I say anything else, I want to make sure you know this is not a sponsored video or advertisement. I simply am providing helpful info at the cost of monetized content. The main reason I purchased this light was to use it for indoor gardening. Now this LED light isn't sold as a grow light, but HID lighting was never made for growing plants either. But it became a staple of the industry because of how efficient it was at producing light versus watch consumed. And not only that, it also happens to produce wavelengths that plants utilize very well. This light is designed with a passive heatsink, so there's no fans or moving parts. And like any light built for horticulture, this is designed beyond for many hours. It's also IP65 water resistant, so as far as using this as a grow light, it's basically designed for the same, if not better. And it's also dimmable. Some of you may notice that this LED light looks similar to the closet case model made by Spectrum King, but without the reflector. While I think Spectrum King lights are good, they are a little pricey. This light was around $190, which is over $100 cheaper than the closet case by Spectrum King. The Spectrum King model is 140 watts, while this one is listed as 240. So besides the price difference, there is also a difference in intensity. As far as quality goes, the Spectrum King light uses top bin Cree LEDs that have a CRI of greater than 90, while this light uses mid-grade Luxion 3030 LEDs which have a CRI around 85. Now unless you're using lights for photo or video purposes, the CRI isn't really all that important. So let's get to comparing this to a 400 watt metal halide HID light. First off, when comparing efficiency of HID and LED, the LED is far superior in delivering light versus consumed watts. Although HID lights emit way more light per watt than any other type except LEDs, much of the energy produced is lost to heat. So to test this, I looked at three things, center power measurements, radiant heat, and wattage draw. Testing with my watt meter, the 400 watt HID uses 425 watts and the LED light uses around 225. Here you can see the chart I made when I measure the PAR at the center of each light at various distances. You can clearly see the LED beats the HID in intensity and uses 200 less watts. To test the irradiated heat, I used thin black plastic and placed it 12 inches from each light and left it on for 10 minutes. With an ambient temperature of 70, I tested the temperature of the plastic with my infrared thermometer. The HID light heated the plastic to around 114 degrees and the LED topped out close to 95 degrees. So higher temperature with less light intensity equals lower efficiency. Having said that, although center power readings clearly prove which light is more efficient versus wattage draw, it doesn't tell the whole story. Part of the desire in horticultural lighting is having even light spread. So to test this, I made a 4x4 grid on the floor and took power readings at each square foot for each light. I placed both lights at 21 inches off the floor. And I chose this distance for two reasons. One is because looking back at the center power measurement, this is right around where both lights start to get closer in intensity. And the second reason is because it's a realistic distance from the plant canopy. Just a few inches closer, and the HID light would start to cook plants with heat, and the LED would start to bleach out the leaves. Looking at this chart, you can clearly see that although marginal, the LED clearly wins in both intensity and coverage using 200 less watts. Part of the reason LED is more efficient is because it emits light in one direction. HID lighting needs a reflector to bounce light and redirect it. In that process, the light path becomes longer and some of it is absorbed by the reflecting surface, thus resulting in wasted energy. Now there are a few last talking points about these lights. The color temperature of the metal halide HID is around 4500 Kelvin and the LED is around 3500 Kelvin. 3500 to 4000 K is considered perfect for general purpose growing and any stage of growth. Anything above 4000 K is mostly for vegetative growth only. Lastly, since the LED is dimmable, you don't need to change lighting for seedlings. You could raise the light higher to prevent burnout, but why waste all that power when you could simply dim it and move it closer? You can't do that with HID unless you have a special ballast, and even then, it's nowhere near as efficient as LEDs. 
You can find links for this light and the Spectrum King in the video description if you are interested. Hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.